recommended to a family whose mother was on life support. She was in a coma and had a stroke, and she was estranged by her husband. And he explained that um, she was, he was pulling her life support uh, by Friday. And I met this family on Sunday, and I told them what I do, and I said there's no guarantee. Every brain is unique. However, um, I do my best to first assess to see if indeed her brain was dead, as the doctors had said. And when I went to the hospital on Monday, she was in a coma, but I assessed her brain and I saw activity, live activity in all of her brain lobes. So I said, there's great potential here. And if you want me to go ahead, I can start to do the um, mirroring of the brain so it can start to heal itself and see how her brain reacts. And what was amazing is um, we saw, saw true proof, visual proof right in front of our eyes that the brain was responding in a very amazing way. And you know, hearing that her mom was a very young, vivacious lady and she had a zest for life and she would have wanted to fight for her life was probably the reason why we were seeing her brain respond so well. So I continued and the, the you know, the doctors at the time, this was amazing. Um, the parent, the family was very upset. There was like 35 people in the room when all this was taking place. I was so nervous. But the, they called, there was two different doctors that came in and the family was like, why did you say our mother was brain dead and that there was no hope and, you know, Selena's here and doing this and verified that all of her brain, uh, you know, lobes are active and they're actually responding positively to her brain optimization. And the doctor said, well, we don't have that equipment. We don't have that technology here. All we have is what we have. And she doesn't have what we have and we don't have what she has. So there you go. It really made me think. And I mean, I know I always thought that every hospital and the greatest hospitals in Western technology has access to everything cutting edge and everything amazing. It's actually not the case in many, in many times they have access to what they have access to. But anyway, we, uh, long story short, we continued and um, we had to get the mother to literally be able to fend for herself because her life was in the care of her estranged husband's hands who had no intention of not pulling life uh, support. He was basically, um, you know, the next day when she was out of her coma and she was sitting up in bed, she was paralyzed on, on this side and she was sitting up on her bed and um, he was screaming at her, you know, and I was like, oh my God. And so he was very upset that she was getting better and the staff was elated, they were so excited. And that day she said two words, stop and ouch, because we were moving her around. And uh, the next thing that happened was um, the next day, she's, her face, you know how when you're paralyzed, the face kind of droops, her face was completely upright. And what was amazing is that um, she started to move her arm and her leg. And we have that on video, it was so amazing. And then I was so worried, it was day Thursday, and we had, that is the only day, and I kept begging the girls, um, the two sisters, I, that who could be there by her side. I'm like, you've got to figure out something. You know, she's gotta figure out how to speak, yes or no, or hold up a card, yes, no, or raise her hand, or write something, or check something off, because the doctors have to know that she is of sound mind. And so, um, that night, oh my God, I always get choked up in this moment. At 8 p.m. on Thursday, I was just hanging out. I was just trying to get my mind off of what was taking place. And um, I got a video, I got a video on my phone, texted to me and the mom was in front of the doctors and the, the daughters were like, mom, do you want to live? And she raises her hand. They're like, Mom, do you want to fight for your life? And she raises her hand again. I mean, she answered a series of questions that doctors were undeniably had to give her health decisions back in her own hands. And it was just really one of the most miraculous moments. It was such a cool moment. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you.